Alright, uh, so today we're gonna be playing All Over Me. Uh, it's a real collection of horror scraps. Um, yo, content trigger warning. Flashing and disturbing and sensitive themes. You know, I love this shit. Let's get into it. Ah, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. We're gonna make this horror game into a, uh, comedy. <laughs> The world has vanished into nothing but whiteness, lifeless it seems. No towns or creatures were on sight, only dead trees. What feels alive, however, is in battle between my car and the storm. I can hear the solidity of flakes rapidly launching at my car's body. In a few matter of seconds, the spare my car wiper's snow has entirely covered my windows again. Maybe it's time to accept defeat. Maybe it's time to accept defeat. My teeth rapidly chatters as I get chills all over. My hands on the wheels are already numb and dull of pain. My lungs are giving up as I feel sharp pains from each cold breath. My body has bitten enough wind and just wants to give up, so I let loose my weak grip on the wheel. Right away my car starts losing friction with the icy road already, aware that I might not have a chance to survive this. As the car sends itself into a downward spiral, I cherish my final words as I hug myself and close my eyes. The car flips and throws itself into a somewhat large pit. Life has to end like this. Or does it? As I wind about my pain and the injuries of pieces sticking on me, there are sudden sounds. Sudden sounds that sound unnatural, unlike the breezing wind. Indeed, unlike the breezing wind, those were footsteps, for God's sake. As my vision's starting to blur out, they started to drag me out of the crash scene. I wanted to ask them something, but I cannot blur out any word with such weakness. So I take it for granted, but I still want to ask myself, is death real? I feel cold, but I'm familiarized with this freezing floor already. I don't know how long I was knocked out, but I'm darn sure that I'm still alive. I still doubt that they are actually good people. Who even lives in the middle of a snow field? A snow field filled with furious snowstorms. To find a random person who's supposed to be buried in the snow, I decided to stand up and check out my surroundings. Oh shit! What the fuck? I think I was kidnapped. What is this? I'm still unsure about this candy box. I need to check out the speaker first. What? Yo. Am I test subject? Am I being tested on? The speaker is looping a voice clip. I look closer to listen. Welcome and good morning, demented sub-human being. Hmm, not liking your room already. Well, that doesn't matter. Because you're invited here today to experience the recollection phenomenon. Phenomenon. As the name suggests, you will have a perfectly happy nostalgia about everyone and everything and everywhere. Including yourself. Hey, you hardly even deserve to use these medicines, so use it at your own 
best. Each day, each medicine will bring you a different experience. A different experience that will disclose you different things once in a lifetime. So please cherish every moment. That's all for now. Happy dreaming. And of course, don't wet yourself while dreaming. <laughs> Alright, uh... So I'm being given drugs. Can you like a medicine box? Or what they call a recollection phenomenon. Should I take one? Yo, let's take one. Oh shit, I'm dying. Help! A kid's complex wasn't that complex because it was my childhood. I used to live in a worn down apartment with my family, and that family was solely my mother. Every day was bland, and I could do nothing but eat, learn, and sleep. But every day was not every day. It was that final season. That where it was great fondness. Guess that the beauty of nature is close. Each coldest season with great tranquility. Each bird sits brooding in the snow. Each snow angel's devoting little relish. Each snowman removing bits of outcast. And yet, winter just comes and goes. <coughs> winter is a melanonic being. It sleeps through its sorrow as early as possible. It storms the sheds of miserable tears of nature. It suffers the worst demise as the sun melts it entirely. It needs help and yet pushes everything to their shelters. It feels solitude, but it chooses to wallow in there. Sometimes winter just needs a warm hug. Ooh. An old newspaper from the 90s. My mother always read one every early morning, enjoying her sweet tea. This one appears to have mentioned something about a young girl who escaped from a basement after being imprisoned for almost 10 years by her father. What a cruel world. Am I wrong? I remember every time how I got so excited when winter arrives, when I finally saw the freckles of snow on the kitchen window again, I started to jump on my bed like a trampoline, and wishing and praying that winter will stay snowing forever, but it's not possible and did not last. Silly childhood soon has to learn the hard way of life in nature. Nothing can cure my broken heart like my own mother's cooking. For me, it's specifically homemade beef stew. Usually when she came back home with the groceries for us, I always snuck up and peeped into some of the bags while she was away. Once I smelled the presence of beef, I would excitingly jump up around and knew I'm going to have beef stew for new dinner. My mother would stand on uh, stand by the door frame, witnessing my energetic, immature naiveness. She would let out a remarkable warm smile afterwards. What's this? Can I go back? Not oh, a plant. Hold up. Let me check if there's anything else. Mm. Damn, this is so nostalgic. Just feels nostalgic. A lonely fern pot that lasted in a complex for a few years. There was this time my mother was keen on growing plants, so she decided to bring it one indoors. She said it would make our place meal feel more alive, especially during seasons like winter. But I didn't really concur. Winter was already alive by its own. All right, let's go to the next room. Um. Ooh, what do we do? Yep, let's go left. 
Ooh, we got a room. Nice bed. The bathroom door is locked. Fuck. Um. Hey, is that me? Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Let's check over here. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Is there anything over here? Can I jump down the stairs like a lunatic? Yes, I can. Ooh. The doorknob is jammed for some reason. Can I jump down the stairs like a lunatic? Ah. The door knob is jammed for some reason. Again. Damn it. Ooh, what's over here? What did I leave the apartment complex? An older complex feels different because the mind itself is a complex now. I continue to survive in that worn down apartment with my lone family. Every day was bland and I could do nothing but eat and sleep. But every day was not every day. It was that final season. But there was a great contemplation. Tell me, Winter, what are you really hiding away below those snows? Is there really just snow? Or is there some kind of sick play? Oh, Winter, tell me. We are the same, Winter. We bury our sorrows with thick tears. We struggle with the definition of truth. We with our own sun, slowly burning us out. We reject anything but our own self-rejection. I have become my own winter. Oh my days. It's creepy. It's so cinematic. I love this game. Hey, what do we have here? Ugh, I don't... Ugh, it just, that freaks me out. I don't like that darkness. It's first person now. Come on, dude. I'm gonna get fucking killed. Check the door. Check the door. Mm, I don't want to go down there. Let's check this first. Am I in like a hospital of some sort? Am I in a mental asylum? Am I where mentally ill people live? Let's see. Come on. He. Bang. 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 3 a.m. Is that like Russian or something? I don't know. Sorry. Can't read it. Hey, let's continue down the hallway. How about that? Oh, shit. It's creepy. It's creepy. Oh, I'm hearing creepy noises. Damn, this winter ambience is just crazy. <clears throat> um, check door. Ew. What's on this door? Come on, dude. What the fuck? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get jump scared and I'm gonna literally flip out. What's this? Am I gonna sign my life away to the devil? Ew. Excuse me? I don't get to see the contract? I'm a, I am now about to make the great adventure. I cannot endure this agonizing pain any longer. It is all over my body. Neither can I face the impending blindness. I pray the Lord my soul to take. Amen. Hey, at least this guy's a Christian. Conclusion for the death of Katrina. Katernia.
Katerina. Cerebral hypoxia. Hypoxia due to traumatic injuries from the attempt at redacted. And I don't want to learn anything from this. I love you, mother. Oh, that's so loud. Oh, shit. Hi, may I ask if this is a mental crisis hotline? What? Ooh, what do I do? Do I say sorry you got the wrong number? No, this is not the hotline. Sorry, you got the wrong number. Oh? Ah, okay, I see. I guess it's a sign that I should not text that first. My bad. I'll stop bothering you now. You're not gonna. You're not doing anything to yourself, right? No, dumbass. Cause you just text the mental hotline for no reason. What am I, am I to you at this, at a personal level? In reality, nobody really cares for me. No one who loves me. I don't matter. Everyone matters. At least it's a good, at least it's good that you think in that way. Don't worry, I won't do anything bad. Farewell. Are you really okay? Are you still there? Don't give up, I beg you. I still care for you. You sure are persistent. Like, you are like so, so, so funny. This is so lol. But what does lol mean again? I forgot. I'm definitely not lolling on the floor, right? Ha ha ha. Be sure that you're okay. Uh, kinda okay, I guess. I might be a bit dizzy right now. Like, uh, vertigo. That's much, f that's a much fancier world. <laughs> Lol. You should go to the hospital. No, I don't want to. It's very cold here. There's nothing attracting. I'm not going to. I can't take it anymore. You know I told you that. Maybe on an accident or something, but you know. You know that. We'll be less cold than where you are right now. Don't worry, you will feel better at the hospital. Don't worry, you will feel... feel better at the hospital. God, I should have just told him to do the hotline. Hey, are you right? Sorry, I was knocked out for a moment. Say it again. Ooh, wait. I can just scroll up. Silly me, lol. Too much message. Too much white. Can't read. Maybe I should change my phone screen to, um, maybe a last partying message. 
You're scaring me. Good. People should be afraid of me. I don't deserve any recognition after all. I'm a monster to everyone. Even myself shouldn't should be frightened. In my family I was like a taboo. I was always stigmatized for small things. I mean everyone is gone now. But thoughts is still hanging around. It won't let my let go of my brain. Feels really numb in. I cannot feel that reality is with me anymore. But you know what? That will be over soon. So don't worry. Nothing to worry about, especially somebody like me. Imagine your eyes are deceiving you. I do not exist nor matter anymore. More withered. Tell me your address. I'm the fucking police now. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Hold on, my, my computer's gonna die. You're worrying me. I'm gonna call if you don't text. Hey, don't do this to me. Calling. <laughs> Ringing. Come on. Come on, don't, don't, don't do this to me. Don't, don't do this to me. Come on, come on. Oh shit. Here he's there. I know you I know you picked up the call. Please answer. Fucking FBI Houston to Texas DPS on Houston Patch. How you copy? Houston DPS clear. Ten four, thank you. FBI Houston to DEA on Houston Command. How you copy? What the fuck? a police report no need to go in there right now should probably head for the front door huh be a smart play no Ooh. A yellow oh shit Okay. Um yeah, that's that's probably fine. That's probably fine. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Um I'm gonna die out here. Shit. Be quiet. Shh. 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 Fuck, fuck, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, son of a bitch. Breaking news, desperate search underway for missing girl kidnapped. Three days ago, a community is on edge as the search intensifies for a young girl who was kidnapped three days ago and remains missing. 
Law enforcement agencies and concerned citizens have rallied together in a desperate effort to locate the girl and bring her home safely. The girl, identified as Katie, 15, was last seen three days ago when she was reportedly abducted from Houston. The circumstances surrounding her disappearance have sent shockwaves through the community, leaving friends, family, and neighbors anxiously awaiting any updates on her whereabouts. Authorities have launched a full-scale investigation, establishing a dedicated task force to coordinate search efforts. Search and rescue teams, including K-9 units, drones, and helicopters, have been deployed to comb through nearby areas, including woods, parks, Jesus and abandoned Christ. buildings. Investigators are meticulously examining surveillance footage, interviewing witnesses, and pursuing any leads that may provide crucial information Fuck. about the girl. Hey, I got a shotgun. Get away. Back away. I got a shotgun. Fuck. I got a gun. I got a gun. Leave me alone. I would run in the bathroom. That's that's my What the fuck? I'm the kidnapper. I am. The, what the fuck? What the fuck? God, this game's so just horrifying. It's so disturbing. It's giving me chills on my spine. Oh god, what am I in SCP 106's dimension? Oh, Jesus Christ. Please fix this. Oh, what the fuck? I don't want. You out here. What the fuck? Homie, run! Homie, run! Homie, run! I need, I need you here. Homie, run, run, run. What? God, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Why am I in the blood gods dimension? Okay, this is a... Shit. Shit. Shit, what is that? Shit. Shit. I didn't get to read that. Up, uh, uh, shit. What the fuck is going on? Yo, why am I here? Why do I exist? What is my purpose? Uh, wanted. Ugh, this is so disturbing. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, it's. Oh, what the fuck? Gone, gone. What are these, bro? These look like from Vita Carnes. Fucking Monolith. Oh shit, why are they all looking at me? Yo, back away. Oh, you don't want none of this. Bro, I'm getting so many fucking badges. Dude, that was so disturbing. Oh. It's giving me shivers down my spine. This is so disturbing. This might be the most disturbing horror game I've ever played.
Oh, why is she singing? Why is there hung people on the side? I didn't know that could be in Roblox. It's a fucking Roblox horror game, dude. And it's so s disturbing. Dude, the singing is crazy. Thank you to these people for making this game. Farewell. I miss you. Oh, that was so fucking disturbing. Well, that was all over me. Uh, very disturbing horror game. I liked it a lot. It gave me chills down my spine. It, it was a very, very creepy overall nice horror game. Had those little aspects in there that you need in a horror game. It was very disturbing overall, and I I really enjoyed it. So yeah, I'll if this um if this video gets popular, unlike all my other gaming videos, then. I will go back and try to um, convince the dude on the text messages not to kill himself. Thank you for watching.